Did you know that the Tarkov's flea market has a total of 161 different weapons to choose from as we speak? Well, that's a lot of weapons, isn't it? They would probably give pretty much anyone a hard time picking out the perfect weapon, so to speak. But usually, most of us fall within one of these three types of Tarkov players when it comes to choosing a weapon in the game or in any other game for that matter. With the stubborn one. This player has already made up their mind about a favorite weapon and no matter what happens could get nerfed down into the ground or just be the worst weapon out there. Yet this player stays loyal to it and use it religiously no matter the situation. We all know this type of player, always roaming the wide web searching for the best weapons in Tarkov or Tarkov meta weapons. These guys are motivated to find the best weapon builds and classes to be on top of the game no matter what. So I would argue that these types of players spend more time in stash, researching and building the perfect weapon, even more so than actually playing the game. But don't get it twisted, these players are doing the so-called God's work. Meta exists because of them. So if you're a meta player then, thank you. Even though I never follow meta because I'm usually falling in the third type of player category. The just happy to be here player. This player is an interesting type of player. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm not saying that just because I fall within this category. One would argue that these players are actually having the most fun. Not following any metas, not just sticking to one weapon for a whole 8 month long wipe. Being this type of player myself, I can speak from my own experiences and I will be honest with you. I have no clue what I'm building and I am basically just throwing together a weapon that I think looks cool and might be good and just go for it. These players usually find out the hard way following some type of meta or at least trying to build a weapon that makes sense would serve them better. But make no mistake about it, being this player might be painful at times, but we're learning from our mistakes and take the game step by step, which basically means that we're not afraid to think outside the box, which leads me to my next point. But before we go on, which player are you? All right, look, you have an insane amount of options, everything ranging from sniper rifles down to the blicky. Obviously the most OP weapon in the game, so I might just have to end this video right here. I know what you're thinking, what weapon could possibly be stronger than the Blicky? Well if you ask me, I'd say something along the way of a weapon with damage so high, the level 6 armor is basically worthless. It can be used as early as level 1, and the best part, it should cost nothing. In a perfect world that is. Remember what I said about thinking outside the box? Let me present you the NSV UTOS Heavy Machine Gun. I know, I know, this fills your mind with skepticism and doubt, but how about you let me show you what this can do. Yeah, so that's probably how Thanos felt snapping his fingers. Remember that this is not optimal, but it is just for fun. And since a big bunch of Tarka players take this game way too seriously, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Myself included. You need to have fun sometimes as well. Hope you enjoy. All right, so right off the bat, I can tell you we didn't really get the best spawn now. So uh, let's just be safe before we go. Alright, on our right hand side we got the relaxed room and we kind of have to run across. Let's just make sure we do that safely. Oh man, I kind of hate this alley. Always somebody camping in this. So if you didn't know by now, we kind of have to go to the collapse crane. Which is where the mounted machine gun is. And uh, I just want to show you what this, what, what this thing can do. Hopefully we can get there in one piece, but before we go, I always like to jump up here. I mean, it might be a little campy, but hey, it's it's Tarkov once again. You can do whatever you want, just make sure you survive. A few moments later. Oh my god, this weather is not making it easy for us. And uh, the usual luck for me, I must stay here for... 30 minutes and nothing happens and the moment I move it's 
I'm, oh, oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. What was I saying? What was I saying? The usual luck for me. Stay in the corner for 30 minutes and nothing happens. As soon as you pop out, there he comes. Jesus Christ, that was literally on the hair. Let's just uh, make sure we we heal ourselves up or before we move on. Oh my God, that always happens. It doesn't even matter what game I'm playing. It always happens. Stay there for however long. And as soon as you move, somebody comes along. Pretty sure nobody's with him. Probably dumb by me to just go out like this. Let's see what this guy got. Ooh, a nice backpack. All right. I'm really sure about this looting stuff. Do you want to see it? Do you want me to skip it in the videos? I mean, some people like it, some don't. Just let me know in the comments below because I I can never tell. Let's see. Okay, uh, I kind of forgot his vest or armor, should I say? There we go. Should be better than mine. And we can move on. Here okay, we're closing in. Right there it is. The mountain machine gun. Hopefully. Just hopefully. Oh. Oh my god. These scavs, man. You never really know if they're players or or just scavs. I mean, usually when I see that that backpack, it's always a player. All right, let's uh, let's just check this guy out before we move on. All right, so the collapsed crane is pretty much in front of us. Let's just see. All right, nothing interesting. Let's see, can we grab this? Oh, have they fixed this? You can't really do that anymore, it seems like. Okay, here we go. Here we, oh my God. Bro, these scares are like ghosts. Maybe I'm just blind, who knows. All right, so it looks like we made it in one piece. I mean, for now at least. Let's just make sure nobody's here and uh, get on to the machine gun. Oh. All right, here it is. Look at that beauty. Take that guy out. Nice. And okay, I think that's behind me. Yeah, right there. You know, usually you have this luck where nobody comes along. Or they just do. So, gotta be patient, you know. And with that said, kinda heard some shots coming from uh, down the street there. There should be check 13 and 15. Which uh, we all know is the most dangerous road. So, uh, I kinda think about heading out. And maybe jumping into another raid. Let's see. Just just make sure nobody's here. Oh, there is. Alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that head on. Definitely not. This might just be our chance to actually actually do something. Oh Jesus Christ. Did that guy just already throw a grenade everybody using these grenades except me I don't know why let's uh, make sure he actually runs past is he there yeah I think I saw him on the, the right side he might just be yeah he's coming along this fence I might just have to take him out with this uh, while he runs past if I get the get a good shot Nah. No, 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 yeah. How about we take this chance and uh, if he runs that way, because the machine I can't turn on the left hand side or right hand side so much. Come on, come on, buddy. Just run in front. He probably thinks I, I ran away or something. Come on, buddy. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Oh my god. Oh my god, zero chance. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I love the mountain machine gun. You know, I usually always wait for a second after killing somebody. 
but uh, I kind of thought let's just go for it. Don't want to wait around too long, which is also some something I usually do, and then I get sniped or something. I just know my luck. Oh my god, this guy was packed. You know, this is one of the reasons I want to show you what I'm thinking from these guys. You know, when it's good loot, but sometimes there isn't, and you might just not want to see it. To see oh my god that's a nice vector isn't it take whatever i can but uh let's just not bore you anymore how about we we head out all right i'm really praying that that guy didn't have a teammate or anything i think he should be here by now if if he was around or something but our extraction is still still in the same direction so uh how about we head on home with our newfound loot? Oh my god, this guy had such nice loot. I'm really happy I took advantage of that machine gun. Alright boys, it looks like we made it in one piece. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, hopefully you found it entertaining. Make sure you use the mounted machine gun as you see. You can take down anyone and anything with any kind of armor. See you guys in the next one. I'm out.